Hello. Nerdlings! Hi! <laughs> oh, I, I thought you were going to do that. Are we doing the oh, thing? Well, let's, let's do it just for him. So we hey, up. nerd. Lings? <laughs> I was going to say, we're going to start over and cut that and put that first part in there. So, uh, by now you guys should recognize our music man, Peter, because we're always dragging him into these videos. Although sometimes you guys don't get to see those videos for a long, long time. True yeah. story. <laughs> but uh, we had something fun to do today. Yeah, something a little different than what yes. we usually do. Do you nerd for goodie boxes? They're doing things they've never done, hoping that it's lots of fun. Oh, oh, oh they're nerdgins. A friend of ours, he's actually in China right now, so he was nice enough to send us a box full of goodies, and I I cut it open just to get into it, but we do not know no. what's in here yet. And he was also kind enough to send us a translation, yes. so we can actually know what some of the stuff is, so we don't have to sit there and be like, gee, I wonder what this is, I don't know, I could be eating oh. cow's brains, or I could be eating beetles. I like beetles. Oh my gosh. <laughs> there's, there's a lot of stuff. I want to pull the first thing out. So uh, these are Cameo Sensations. And he used to do a lot of uh, candles and scented oils that he would make himself. So it's scent sensations. All right, so, so what number is that? Did he number this, them? He numbered them on here. Uh oh. There's no number in here. Oh, maybe it's on the end. Oh, oh. Anyway, it's in a really cute little. <laughs> Um, I'm guessing this is the shopping bag, but it's really pretty. But it's a little teddy bear. Or panda, blue panda maybe. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, it has silica gel on the back for dessert. And um, <laughs> like a Mickey Mouse, maybe. That's a Dobo. But... No, that's Mighty Mouse. Mighty Mouse? Yeah, because it's got the yellow and, uh, <laughs> and it also looks like a Mickey Mouse. <laughs> Alright, so the question you did now. Number one does say handmade cookie lollipops. Oh, nice. We got them. And it says consume soon, not made by me. So they were handmade, but Cameo did not make them. Okay, so do we want to try these? So are you going to try one? Which All one do right. you want to try? Mighty Mouse or Blue Panda? Oh, uh, mm -hmm. I'm a Mighty Mouse guy. Okay. Oh, cool. Not the gel. Don't eat the silicone Don't eat gel. The so I asked my Google Home the other day, hey Google, what happens if you eat silica gel? And you know what she said? I'm sorry, I can't help with that. Oh, that's really hard icing. Oh man, both the ears fell off of this one. Now it's just kind of like a, <laughs> a sad little face. No ears. So this is like, tastes like a normal um, sugar cookie. I feel like I get a little hint of lemon in there. I don't think I got any lemon. Did you I get think, the icing though? I think your brain's just making that up. I like lemon. <laughs> mm. They're really good though. They're very crunchy. One thing to remember too is that in the United States, we're sugaraholics, really. <laughs> so when we think of candy and cookies, they're really sweet. This is not American quality sweet for sure. <laughs> Chinese quality sweet. Okay. The cookie reminds me of... Um, I keep thinking of like the cookie tins, like the Danish cookies. Yeah, that yeah. was good though. I enjoyed that. That wasn't crazy. We have water in case things are crazy. <laughs> it's kind of scary looking. Kind of looks like tamarind. I don't know what this is. They're suckers though. Oh, there's something hard in the sucker. I'm scared. I'll try yours. Okay, so yeah, I'm. I am a little nervous. About the yeah, because the usually, centerpiece. Usually, when a lollipop is something inside of it, at least for me, being from Southern California, it's <laughs> usually like a cricket or a scorpion or some other kind of bug. Authentic Taiwanese black sugar and sour plum lollipops. So maybe that's what this is. It smells very like syrupy, like, like yeah. caro syrup. Yeah, it smells like caro syrup. Yeah. Yeah, oh, I really bet we could does. extract the DNA from this and create a dinosaur. It does kind of look like um, amber. <laughs> amber. Yeah. Hold on to your butts. Well, as far as the um, as far as the candy, the sugar part, 
It's actually really good. Yeah. My centerpiece is actually a little bit exposed, so I already got to it. It's really granular. I don't get a flavor from the sucker part. It, I don't know, it does kind of taste like, um, like it's, syrup, but like, like yeah. it's hardened syrup. My centerpiece, I can taste the centerpiece. It's just salty. Mm. So it's like sweet and salty. That's actually not bad. Not as bad mm. as, as it looks. I was, I was kind of scared, yeah. but. It's not, doesn't, it's not an overwhelming sweetness. Are you just gonna bite to the center? I was trying to. <laughs> Who cares about your teeth? That one's fake, so it's cool. <laughs> well, I'm gonna save that. Yeah. I'll save the rest of that for later so we can keep trying keep, some I'll stuff. Keep this. Save some room for later. Okay. I love that movie. <laughs> now we've got... Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I see bourbon written on here up at the top. I'm in. I don't know. Okay, uh... They're like tea cakes, almost. This is probably Japanese white chocolates with bourbon. Okay, so I did see bourbon on there. So, when you open it up on the inside, we've got these little, like, packet thingies. Okay. Okay, so let's, uh, yeah, it says bourbon and bourbon. That's the only English that's on here. <laughs> so, they because really of want the, you know it's bourbon. Because of the packaging, I mean, it's it's kind of like either the crackers with cheese or uh, what were the the cookies? Were they Dunkaroos? Oh, Dunkaroos. Those yeah. are the best. The kangaroo is like playing basketball. So is that what this is? Like the white chocolate? You just dunk it in the bourbon? <laughs> no, they're little cakes. They're little tiny cakes. I guess I didn't need to open both sides. I don't know why I did that. Did you Does see it come it? with toothpicks? Yeah, it's a fork in the middle. Oh. How fancy. fancy. Oh, it's a so look, it fork comes with a little fork. So you can fork your little piece of cake. You want to go first? Because if it's gross. Okay. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. I don't know why I opened both there of them. I will not sully the oh, fork. Oh, thanks. There. there we go. But now it is a little bit powdery on the outside. I don't know you if that's supposed to be it? powdered sure, sugar. I'll smell it. I'm good. He doesn't do alcohol, so. It smells, it smells like smells weird good. eggnog. Yeah, it does. <laughs> I don't get a bourbon taste at all. I don't get a bourbon flavor, but I very much do get a white chocolate, and it's a very creamy, like a you know, very I was gonna soft. Say, this tastes exactly like the center of like those cream cakes that you can buy. You know, like those like zebra cake. That. It tastes like oh, a zebra yeah. cake. Like, like if you just like balled it without up without the cake and part. then just like well, pressed it down. You know, to make it's not uh, bad, to make cake pops, you usually mix uh, a lot of icing. Yeah, a lot of icing, and also sometimes they mix out a bourbon or a vodka in there to keep it moist. Oh. So it's probably the same kind of um, ideology for. I bet that's exactly that. what it is. Oh okay. yeah, this is why we bring him. Mm -hmm. Next, cola jelly. No, it's oh. halls. <laughs> <laughs> It's a package well, of balls. I'm, just just, I'm guessing by the list that's got to be latte Korean cola jelly. All right, it's very squishy. Squish, squish. All right, here we go. I'm hoping that this is like those wax <laughs> Coke bottles, and then you just squished all the jelly out of the Coke bottle. I didn't squish very hard. <laughs> it's totally like the Coke bottles. Coke bottles. Nice. Oh, you can smell it. I, even from this far away, I could smell Oh my gosh, the it, it, it's when you smell it, it's just like the Whoa. ones, the jelly ones that we have here. Oh, like yeah. when you smell it, you get the fizz up your nose. Mm, yeah, yeah, it's a very much oh, like I wish a we had like sugary smell of vision. Writing. Here, just scratch, scratch and a sniff. <laughs> Are you scratching your screen? <laughs> scratch, there you go. <laughs> mm, they are really good. They are good. I love jellies. These are a bit more cinnamony than ours are. Yeah. I get a lot more cinnamon. Maybe it's That's actually really good. Those are really good. Holy cow. These are amazing. Are and only 37 grams of sugar. <laughs> just kidding. No. And it's a resealable. It's, that's, that's why he's just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know what it says. I don't know. All right, you ready for the next one? Yes. After that, I'm, I'm, I'm stoked. Okay, now. it's another no. gummy. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> I got gummy stuck in my throat. Mm. And all I can say is it's got to be um, grapefruit. Grapefruit! Then that must be Meiji Japanese grapefruit gummies. All right, here we go. Another resealable. 
I like that they do the resealable, so you can just kind of like eat a couple and stick them back in your backpack. And since you like to just open everything. Ooh, <laughs> I know. I, I'm never going to Oh, that them. smells almost that rotten. That smells good, though. I love mm. the smell of grapefruit. Ooh. Ooh, you don't like yeah. grapefruit that smell? Is, I do like grapefruit smell, but it's really strong. And they're little tiny grapefruits. Squish, squish. <laughs> so tiny. Oh, wow. It's really good. Yeah, if you like grapefruit, I that's... I love grapefruit. That's spot on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. I feel oh like we gosh. messed that up in the States. We did like, the flavoring? Yeah, the, the fruit flavoring. Kind of like it banana never flavored tastes like what banana it's supposed to be. Al not even good at all. It's just like alcohol flavor. So I can already tell that if we ever get to, to visit China, I've already got a few that I know that I will seek out and get, and some that I might not. Like, the suckers are kind of weird. <laughs> I still think weird. the suckers were good, but the gummies have been yeah. very good. Yeah, they have so been far, awesome. I'm a big fan of uh, Asian gummies. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this one is wrapped up. Okay. In a little mystery wrapper. And there's a little tape right on it's the It's just paper. pokey sticks. It's <laughs> <laughs> He's really taped it good, too. Oh, there we go. Let's see the baby here. Ow, it bit me! <laughs> no, okay, this is not an Eddie, Edie. E edible? <laughs> edible? <laughs> it's a little keychain of um, Taiwan. It's and then on the back, on the front, it's got these like little glitter things. Like there's um just a bunch of like little glittery stuff. I don't even know what they are. Heads, and then on the back of it is the map of Taiwan, like of the different, I guess, either do they do cities or regions or what would you call that? Uh, county? I don't think they do counties. I, I kind of want to say like provinces. Providences. Or provinces. Yeah, provinces. Oh, the glitter is not just glittery. It's little pieces of, of jewels. We'll probably just take a picture and show you. But there's mirrors behind it too, so it looks like there's more jewels in there. Are. Oh, neat. Ooh, fancy. Mm -hmm. Well, going off of the list, this must be number six, the keychain of Taiwan. <laughs> and it looks like a bunch of like probably iconic things to Taiwan on the front of it. It's really cute, I think. There's fireworks. I like those. Next, we have more gummies. And there's a kitty cat on there's it. There's a kitty cat. Meow, meow. So Asian. Now this so could be <laughs> Japanese happy. kitty paw gummies peach flavor. This is happy. I don't even, I don't want to butcher it. Keep... Nikuyu? Nikukyu? Nikukyu! Nikukyu! Meow meow! <laughs> oh, hey Tom, I hope that you put some like sparkles right there. <laughs> Is that your J pop? Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. I just. <laughs> Alright, once again, a resealable. Woo! Well, that almost went into Peter's water. <laughs> That's okay. Oh, it's gonna be yeah. peach flavored at that point. Holy peachness! Oh, wow. Holy <laughs> peachness? <laughs> Peachy! Peachy Ooh. Jean! <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Wow. This is really strong. That is something very, very much about these gummies. But it's a little pink. Scent. It's a little pink kitty paw. Squish, squish. So, is it like a peaches and cream thing then? Is it because there's a. Oh, it usually when it has white on the bottom. Yeah, it like kind of looks like that. With a peach top there. Do you think this is a real kitten's paw? No. I mean, at one point it was. Oh wow, it's weird that it's pink and peach because it's not orangish. Yeah, because here in the states we usually make things peachy that are orange. It actually tastes just like those peach rings. They're good. It's not as strong as the grapefruit or the cola one though. I think it's stronger. Really? Mm -hmm. Maybe my taste buds are broken. Maybe you should have some water. <laughs> Maybe I did have some water earlier. <laughs> There's the little paw right there. Those are pretty good. I like those. Not as good as I like the, the grapefruit The grapefruit ones. ones were better, though, for sure. Mm -hmm. These were good, and I'm not typically a fan of peach flavoring and stuff, mm -hmm. but that's kind of surprising. I would eat these. <laughs> I did eat these. You did I eat did. those. <laughs> we have Kirby. This is a hard candy. Kirby! That's awesome! And it's got Kirby on oh it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't know if I want to... Tear that apart. The You're gonna tear is, apart his face. I know. And on the back, we've got King DDD and um, some other little characters. Is it the other Kirby characters? Kirby colors? 
I know, I don't want to open this one. Maybe we should open it. For, well, you can reseal it, but like if but we then open Kirby's it, face will be we off. can open it from the bottom so we don't mess it up. Okay, guys, I cut the bottom so we didn't have to lose the cute Kirby top. Now, I did want to say that this says Japanese Kirby bubble gum. Whoa. Oh, dear. So, so, it's, about. so it's bubble gum. That's and there's what different swallow. flavors. There's it looks like yogurt, orange, apple, yogurt, and um, water. Water? I and don't know. Soda? Soda maybe. So it looks like water. It's and blue. it does say <laughs> oh, that the flavors are indicated on the front. It smells like like just pink bubble yum. Like just like I'm not a fan of bubble yum. Like the pink. It tastes like or smells like fluoride. <laughs> I don't smell fluoride all that often, but you know that stuff that we used to get. Well, it's dates us. Tom and I are old, but uh, I'm they were kind of old too. It was like barrel bubble gum, like it was like a, uh, like a, a round barrel shape. It was covered in powder and it was like twisted over. It might be bubble yellow, yellow, yellow and blue packaging. Mm -hmm. That's double bubble, double bubble. That's what mm -hmm. it was. It had that just like that distinct. It was pink, but it had that distinct flavor. So what what are you going for? Maybe yogurt. I'll oh, try. I don't know the yogurt or the. Or oh, you got the water one already. I wanted the water one. Okay. I don't know if that's the water as, one. As you can see, they're nice, small, little like esophagus closing balls. <laughs> I'm gonna try for an orange one. I got this red color. And then there's this like weird like. That's maybe. probably yogurt. It's pretty good. This one is. It just tastes like a sweet tart. Like I wanted to swallow yeah. it. Yeah, it's very much like a sweet tart. Mm -hmm. Or um, like a chewy spree. Yeah, spree. That, yeah. Definitely, yep. It's not um, hard like American gum. Yeah. It's real soft. Which makes me want to swallow it even more because it's like a gum. <laughs> I know. And it's it's actually keeping its flavor. Mm -hmm. it's, it's not, not like, like a zebra stripe. Fruit stripe, stripe, yeah. stripe mm -hmm. zebra stuff. Uh-huh. But it makes me feel like I've been chewing it too long. Because that's basically the consistency of it. Is when you've been chewing gum too long, yeah. it's just real... Elasty. Mm -hmm. Pardon me. <laughs> and I'm not spitting it out because it's not good. It's just we have other things to try, so... Yeah. Oh, yes, we'll do that. Yeah. I was going to put it on my lollipop. That's, that's so appetizing. I'm trying not to show people. <laughs> it's cool. We'll go to a picture. <laughs> <laughs> I saw what. <laughs> 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 yeah, nice. <laughs> no, it's gonna be like a. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Okay. Let me try to. I think I'm getting a little oversweeted though. I know, we need a palate cleanser. We need some coffee or something. Alright. Next. Ooh, Wrigley's Extra. Oh. Honeydew flavored is what the uh -huh, list says. And you can see the honeydew right on the front of the. The packaging here. Can you see? I can see it. <laughs> More gum! I'm afraid it's not gonna be good. I'm just afraid of honeydew flavored things. What? They're usually uh, weaker than I want them to be. Well, we've already learned that a lot of their packet their stuff is not not weak, that's that true. Weak. So Ooh, that is melon. <laughs> oh my goodness. Ooh, that smells fantastic. <laughs> I am not a melon girl. I do not enjoy melon. I have to be in the right mood for watermelon. Other than that, I don't eat melon at all. So I want to buy like 20 packets of this, pour them into a bowl, and put them in my bathroom. So my bathroom will smell like I'm actually like not melon. looking forward to this one. Mm. All right. It's the same shape as American Extra, so I guess we're good. All right, here we go. Yep, that is Western gum. That is tough. Mm hmm I am really getting a lot of honeydew, though. Yeah. I I didn't expect that either. Yeah, because usually it's a little more subdued. This is... Yeah. They really pack the punches and the flavors in these things, man. Whew. I think we're missing out here. Uh-huh. Mm hmm mm hmm That's very interesting. But now my breath is going to smell like a fresh salon. Salon? <laughs> <laughs> hmm. And it's interesting because it has the that really crunchy outer candy coating. Mm -hmm. But then, which is, I mean, if you've had extra here in the states, it's it's the same way. It usually comes in the little cups that you pour one out in your hand. Does it also seem a little minty? 
I was about to say that. Because it feels very fresh. Yeah, no, I think that's just the melon because like, you know, we feel like cucumber, cucumber melon, like uh, lotions and candles and stuff has that very fresh No, it kind of it, feels but... like, like I've just finished chewing some mint gum hmm. or just finished brushing my teeth, kind of like that after minty, like fresh. Does that make a melon toothpaste? Let us know, nerdlings. Is there a melon toothpaste? <laughs> I would like to try it. <laughs> is very interesting it looks like uh, um uh like rock candy no i was gonna say uh, um kidney stones kidney stones okay i'm sorry i'm a surgical technologist so i've seen these things in person <laughs> they i don't know they kind of look like the uh what are they like the koosh balls yeah I like just that. shrunk down mm -hmm. now these could be the uh Kasugai Japanese sugar candies. It does say kas ka Kasugai. Oh, we're, we're getting the hang of this. Also, he packed it very well in here where things are kind of laying on top of each other. Yeah. So, so Thanks, man. You're the coolest. I know. He was very intelligent. I would never have thought of that. I'm glad that we're smelling it every time. Like, this is a good thing. Because smell is like tell a it's, bunch of your taste. It, smell, it smells like a vegetable. Maybe. I smell it. It smells familiar, but it's not sweet. <laughs> See, you gotta get like a couple smellies in there. Dude, it <laughs> smells like a grandma's house. Okay, <laughs> I did. I did not get that. I did not get grandma's. Maybe house. my grandma's just cooler than your grandma. She has Asian candy. Over <laughs> my grandma is ninety-two years old and has lost her mind. So maybe she has more Asian candies. <laughs> <laughs> okay, with this, I'm. I don't feel like I'm getting much of a, a smell at all. I'm, it's kind of it's like a cleaner. It's overwhelming. It's like, it smells vegetable to me. Really? Yes. This is All right, interesting. I, I went for the green one. I still have that minty fresh in my mouth. I don't know. <laughs> I just want to smell it some more and try to figure that out. I know. I got orange. All right, Cameo needs to watch this video and then like totally leave a bunch of comments of what the heck all this stuff is. They're adorable though. I hope it has a little orange, up, orange stuff. I love that. It's oh. sugar. I do not enjoy this one at all. I'm trying the orange one. I do not enjoy this one at all. You're gonna have to put subtitles in front of what I just said. <laughs> oh gosh. It makes me think of um Oh man, that's not very good. As far as the flavor, it's kind of like rock candy. But this one actually doesn't seem as sweet as rock candy no. to me. But then when it breaks apart, or like mm. when you crunch it. You the texture have changes. It's I'm almost like the, <laughs> it's almost like the candies on top of like cakes. Yeah, like for decorating. Mm -hmm. Which again, almost have no flavor. So I'm not sure what no, that has it tasted. It's but really gross. <laughs> both of us, it seems like it wasn't that <laughs> bad. <laughs> this one has been very unique because, uh -huh, because we've all you, smelled something different. You guys thought something yeah, smelled. Smell. I really didn't get a smell. She thinks it tastes disgusting. Oh, it's gross. And I, it tasted, I, yeah, like it tasted like sugar. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, hey, I, I just took a spoonful of sugar. It helped the medicine. That did not go help down. the medicine go down. <laughs> <laughs> I was literally going to say the opposite of that. He's Mary Poppins, y'all. <laughs> is he cool? <laughs> yeah, he's the coolest. Okay. This is watermelon. Lacey loves melon. We know, know that. These are hard candies. Hard watermelon candies. Okay, so this. This may be, oh, okay, the Japanese watermelon hard candies. That's just what they're called. It's what I've got on here. Does Cameo not speak Japanese? Is that why? Uh, you know. They may um, not have a I'm name not sure. Or like a, a name in our language. Is it resealable? No. This Lame. Not resealable, because they are. Ooh, oh, individually packaged. Wrapped candies. Wrapped candies. Can you say the same, Albert? Can you give Louise wrapped candies? <laughs> Ooh, aren't you rich? Now, thinking of this as a watermelon hard candy, I feel like it could, without seeing any of the packaging other than this, I feel like this could be one of two things. One, it's basically like a peppermint, but watermelon flavored. Oh. 
or two. Gross. I'm wondering if it would be like the uh, the filled strawberries. It's oh, totally the filled strawberries. You think, you also, that? oh, you didn't know you opened it. I was gonna say the candy is gonna be red because the packaging is green. I was gonna say when she opened it. It's I red. can already tell you it's not sealed, but it looks like and when I'm holding it up to the light, it looks like a um, like lifesaver that did not get punched all the way through. See, I was thinking it looked like a cough drop. It does yeah. kind of look like a cough Which, drop. if you got candy at your grandma's house, sometimes you'd find cough drops. Which, apparently, that candy last did. candy smelled like Peter's grandma's house, so. Yeah. Oh, my gosh, that's warm on. Yeah. That's very warm on. The artificial watermelon mm -hmm. flavor, not real watermelon. Side note, people put salt on their watermelon. What's up with that? It's good. I do that. I like it. Mm -mm. Comment in the comment section below if you put salt <laughs> on your watermelon. What has always weirded me out is, um, I think it was Japan, they had a salted watermelon flavored Pepsi. And that's just all kinds of no for me. Yeah. Hmm. Like, little side note, we discovered that a little Italian Coca-Cola product called the Beverly is disgusting. <laughs> You're in the Mediterranean. You're I way know, off. Know. We were talking about things. So, your voice is take because my take is gross because I don't like watermelon <laughs> and very sweet I don't the watermelon flavor didn't stick around very long for me it just became sweet after that just kind of like a sweet lozenge kind of thing yeah it's not it's not bad it's I mean it, it, it has a lot of watermelon flavor and I feel like if you like watermelon like that's great because yeah. maybe it'll linger but mm. if you're just kind of okay with watermelon it can be a little much but the um, the candy itself, it really, like the texture, I guess, really made me think of the strawberry candies. Mm -hmm. It reminds me of Warheads. My favorite Warhead was the watermelon one because the sour part in the inside was like the most intense. Excuse me, I'm still eating mine. They spit this out. <laughs> yeah. It was a little so too much watermelon. Yeah, it yeah so I'm just, but I'm waiting for that, that sour part to come out that I'm so used happen. to. It's not going to happen because it's not filled. So I'm a little oh. bit disappointed. But flavor wise, it it's fine. Six. Yeah. Six out of ten. You yeah. know, with, with the green and then the, the green wrapper, the red candy, they should have filled it with, like, an actual watermelon seed. So, like, when you're done, <laughs> you have to <laughs> spit the seed Hey, fun out. fact, in elementary school, I won a watermelon spitting contest. I'm dealing That's with... That's the Ozarks here. here. <laughs> what do you do in elementary school at a recess when everyone gets watermelon? You have watermelon spinning contest, and I won. We used to throw pickles at the wall, so I don't know which one's worse. <laughs> I'm going to go with yours. The, the, the See, sandwich pickles. Was... And you throw at the wall, and they stick. Something tells me that was not sanctioned by the school. Yeah, no. It was a privilege of the fifth graders. You got to sit on the ground and throw pickles at the fence the wall thing. Fourth graders <laughs> have to sit in the air? No, they could, they'd, sit, they'd sit on a, a bench. <laughs> Who wants to sit on a bench when you the fourth, on the ground? The fourth graders have to sit there and get pickles thrown at them. <laughs> well, mine, Guess what? Today you're the wall. Mine was <laughs> sanctioned by the school. Oh, well. So. <laughs> Mine's cooler than because we're rebels. Yeah. Ready for the next? Let's let's keep it going. All right. What? I'm very curious. This is a chocolate rum raisin hazelnut. Oh. With original Jamaican rum. Oh, no. Oh, you might have lost me at rum and raisin and hazelnut. You don't like any of those? I thought you liked hazelnut. Oh, I want to mm. see Tom eat this. Not, I really want to see Not this. that much. <laughs> you oh, like Nutella. Boy. Nutella is awesome. Nutella is nothing but hazelnut. And chocolate. Well, I like rum and I like hazelnut. I do not like raisins. It feels very rummy. I just got on your nose, I'm sorry. That's fine. Now Peter, or Tom gets to eat what was up your nose. It wasn't up my nose, it was on my nose. So yeah, it basically looks just yeah, like it um, is very... chocolate in scores. I broke it in here. It's so a very I'm... rummy smell. Let me try to get rummy. it out. All right. So yeah, see, it's just like scored chocolate. <laughs> you have to eat the whole piece. You just got to do it. Mm. That has a very distinct rum flavor. I don't know how I feel about that. Oh, there was a raisin. It smells weird. <laughs> okay, the, the hazelnut isn't bothering me because I think that the rum is very strong with this one. <laughs> <laughs> the rum is strong with this Ooh. one. 
It's like a it's... rum ball like my sister yes. makes. Yes. Oh, yeah. My sister makes a rum ball that when you open the refrigerator, you get drunk. It's like, oops. You don't have to drink them. Because she's like, she'll pour in the raw, raw drink, or the rum, and I'm like, I can't taste it. So she pours some more in there. She's like Julia Child. She's like, I'm going to put some rum in here. And I'm sorry, Tiffany. Rum, she and only did... Rum. A little rum. She only did that one time, <laughs> but we always give her hell for it. All right, well that was fun. I didn't that, mind that, that was, one. That was interesting. I mean, it it wasn't bad for chocolate. Um, Ooh, Cadbury does a fruit and nut bar, and I do like that. So it's not that I have an, an issue with things in my chocolate. Okay. But that one was a little. I don't know. I. I mean, maybe it's the rum because I'm not familiar with alcohol, but it just smelled weird. It was it's, very rum. Yeah. Okay. I but I, I feel like confident rum, saying that uh, it probably tastes how it smells. I uh, enjoy rum. <laughs> <laughs> rum makes you dumb. <laughs> All right. So you said you like sour things. I huh? do like sour. Oh, this next one right. is called Super Lemon, and it's very comic booky on the front. <laughs> like nice. Shirt. That's pretty cool. And apparently super it's so... Nobel Super Lemon Candy. Let me... Oh, juicy! Oh, Nobel! What's Super Lemon Candy? I don't know why I'm saying it in like a Julie Child's voice. It's just... <laughs> that's my excited voice, I guess. But yeah, this is really that's cool. It's on my back there. Um, telling you how to eat it in case you don't know how to eat it. You open it and you put it in your mouth and you go... Oh, <laughs> oh no, they're... Are they feeding oh. each other? Yeah, no. they're feeding each other. Yeah. Because they're romantic. Oh, yeah, you guys can do that if you want. You have to lead over <laughs> And I'll just, like, lean back and eat my candy by myself. Snip, snip, snip. Hey, individually packaged they're again. They're individually wrapped. Yeah. Hello. You know, it's like All right. So, how much of a pro are you when it comes to sour candies? I oh, okay. So, sour. remember Warheads? Now, on the Warheads packaging, if you have the box, it had, like... How long can you hold this in your mouth? And then you're the best if it could be like 20 seconds or more. And I always made it way past that. So I'm about to find out. I, I was kind of waiting for you to say, can you hold it in your mouth for 20 seconds? Because I still have the one from third grade. No. <laughs> By the way, this does have a layers on it. Do you want to try All to do right. like what they did on the box? Come here. Come here, husband. I can't get mine out. I'm not smarter than the rapper. Wait, we're supposed to like. I think. Yeah, I were... don't think it's gonna work that way. Oh, <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> wow! Holy cow! Mm. Oh, the glands! It's hard. I like it though. Oh, I don't. Mm -hmm. mm. It's almost gone. <laughs> I can tell it's almost over. But you have layers. <laughs> mm -hmm. You better okay. chomp on it and get through all those layers real fast. Okay, the sour's gone. We're good. <laughs> We're good. Yep. All right. Hey, I'm actually very curious. To that know. was good, though. It was good. It was a really good sour. Now it's just like lemon flavored, like a hard lemon candy. Mm -hmm. I just leaked all over you. I'm sorry. It happens. It's the sour. <laughs> I couldn't see that. Everybody's gonna bite? Yeah. Nope, not gonna bite. <laughs> it is a. Oh, gosh. Got it. Was that the lemon in your teeth? Both. <laughs> oh, man. No, no it's jelly. not sour in the middle. It's probably like, um. It's just lemon heads. Sour patch kids, you know? No, it's just like a lemon head. But that's supposed to be the, uh, the super lemon candy. I mean, yeah, it sure does taste like someone's got pine saw in my mouth, but other than that. <laughs> <laughs> these are, I like these. These are good. That, yeah. was, that was intense in the beginning. It tastes like someone took a warhead and a lemon head and was like, there you go. <laughs> a little bit sour, a little bit sweet. Mm -hmm. You're good to go. I do like it. I'm going to save yeah, the rest gonna, of mine for later. Yeah, so we can move on. So I can keep all my teeth. <laughs> That's nuts. No, that wasn't the last thing we just ate. Oh! Well, that was good. I uh, I do like lemon heads. Oh. Yeah. So, that was... This is nice. not going to probably be a shareable. Oh? It, uh... 
It's a Hello Kitty. Okay. It feels like a giant jawbreaker. I wonder if it's just a toy. Um, Maybe it is a toy. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Does it say Sanrio on it? Yes, yeah, Sanrio okay. characters. Okay, so it's a good thing that we did not try to eat this because this is a Sanrio bathing egg. Dissolved. <laughs> It's just so busy. Uh, <laughs> uh, People, it, why are you following the mouth? Do you have rabies? It dissolves uh, in bath. It produces random PVC Sanrio oh, characters. Oh, wow, that smells really good. It smells like soap. It, well, that's because it's No, I mean, like, there's not, like, a, like a, <laughs> uh, it's not, like, you know, lemon or lavender. I mean, it just right, smells no, like. It's like straight like whale just, fat. Just, it smells, now this smells like my grandmother's house. Yeah, your grandma's boring. Yes, she was. Seriously, guys, my I grandma's my the grandma. coolest. And then on the back here, it shows like, well, don't eat it. Just smell. It smells like. It smells like a fancy place where what people like to be multiple yeah, times. It looks like on the inside there's some form of Hello Kitty type duck. Well, seeing as how Peter is our guest, at this moment we will cut to Peter in the bath. We're not cutting to Peter in the back. You perverts! Oh, oh you just shit. lost all of our views. <laughs> we'll, we'll cut to Peter in the back. But he won't Why know. are you twitching? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it's a wink or a twitch. <laughs> it was a twitch! <laughs> all right, so ready? I guess since uh, since we're not going to hop in the bathtub with it, the question is, what do you guys stand on bath bombs? So we got I one. Don't... Yeah, we got one when we got married, and we used half of it. And I was like, "Man, you got a bath bomb when you got married? That's an odd yeah. wedding gift." Well, it was supposed to be like uh, sensual somehow, but I'm a large person, and there's no such bathtub where I fit in it and someone else fits in it too. Because <laughs> like I don't know if you've seen that Peter Griffin Family Guy and Lois. Was they all taking a bath to you? No, just it's oh, just that Peter one. and Lois, and yes. like hitting the face with his stomach. <laughs> yeah, my stomach's not that big, but. Like, my body is huge. I cannot fit in the tub with anyone else. So it wasn't very sensual. And it was lavender, and it was just like, meh. Well, that's not sensual. That lavender is a calming agent. It's supposed yeah. to put you to sleep. I Well, it's so do roofies, but... <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's how Peter got his wife. Oh. <laughs> and Stella got her groove back. <laughs> I do not like that. I don't, and it's not like, you know, it's not the whole sitting in your own filth thing because that is kind of gross. I don't like the noise. It's all quiet in the bathroom, but then there's like that, like, tinkling noise of the water. You know, like if you, like, raise your arm and it, like. I have to go potty now. <laughs> but yeah, I don't enjoy baths. I don't find them relaxing. I don't, I don't enjoy it. Not even if there's a mystery character buried inside There here. better not be a mystery character buried in my bath. <laughs> oh, it is. Hello, Surprise! Kitty. Is like, wink, wink, wink. Oh, God. Gosh, that went dark fast. <laughs> I was so, just thinking, yeah. like, like a you know, like a Japanese octopus pops up in the bathtub. Tentacle porn. Yeah, I was like, what's it? Which is worse, the murdering <laughs> Hello Kitty or the tentacle porn? <laughs> <laughs> that way. <laughs> All right. What's All right. the next thing? Let's move on. <laughs> How red is Peter? <laughs> Get in the tub. <laughs> okay, this is got a kiwi and a watermelon with eyeballs on it. So I'm guessing this to be the Japanese kiwi and watermelon chocolates. A what? I'm not. <laughs> I'm looking at oh, that. Oh, okay. I'm wait, not... wait. They're not. There's not. It's not together. <laughs> it's a kiwi chocolate and a watermelon chocolate. It's not kiwi watermelon chocolate. See what I'm saying here? I hope not. Well, um, there's two separate pictures. Yes, but they may have joined together. It better not. With their powers combined. If you look down here, it looks like a watermelon outer coating with a green kiwi inside and something gooey. <laughs> well, let's oh, no. Check it out. <laughs> check it out. <laughs> They're individually wrapped, boys. Um, give me a kiwi. I think I had enough watermelon. So, the little kiwi guy, he's got, like, some scaredy eyes because he knows he's about to be devoured. <laughs> he's worried. He's throwing up a number four at me. Yeah, that's what I was wondering. Is this I number four? Know. Is it a symbol for something? 
if Whoa, that's... the watermelon's throwing up something say, else weird. You say an IP. Well, I'm going for kiwi because I've had enough melon for... You say an IP and... Well, I guess I have to mouth. eat the watermelon since you're both eating kiwi. Oh, I just didn't realize he was doing kiwi. Oh, oh it's kind of a, a pretty color. It's got, like, two it layers. It smells like watermelon still. No, mine smells no, like kiwi. That's not really smell melon. Yeah, your smell's different than mine. Here's mine. No, don't give me yours. I'm just letting you smell it. What is yours probably the watermelon. is a watermelon. Yeah, well, his is no, pink. No, this one for sure smells like melon. Oh, yeah, it does. All right, here we go. Oh, there's a center. It's a gel oh. center. And it's not very good. No. I do not enjoy this one at all. That is not chocolate. I'm the half gone. I'm gonna try uh, a kiwi one now, real fast. Yeah, I'm gonna try a watermelon one. Oh. <clears throat> I'm gonna let you. <laughs> oh, you pulled all the gel out! <laughs> <laughs> He's mainlining the gel. Oh. That one's better than the kiwi one. The kiwi one was weird. Oh wait, no, it's not. No, no, no. No, it's not. That was horrible. Yeah. Okay. Nope. Oh god. Oh. Uh. Okay, the melon one was worse than the kiwi one though, in my mind. That was nasty. No, the kiwi one is worse. Oh. But I'm out of water. <clears throat> <laughs> that was nasty. Oh, I kind of... That's it, the first thing we've had of this whole thing. The, all three okay, of us thought Yeah, the, all yeah. three of us thought were gross. It was the second, like, beyond disgusting thing for me because that little... Oh, the rock candy. The rock yeah. candy was like, oh my gosh. If you want to so, torture me, make me eat another one of those. I don't think it should have been the first thing, but that should have been, like, the third or fourth thing. The first thing would have turned us off on anything else in the box. I think we would have been like, nope, nope, yeah. forget it. Yeah. But, uh... If it were like the third or fourth thing, I think it wouldn't have been so bad because then we'd have all the other flavors. Is it yeah. the was it the last thing? No, no, there's no. <laughs> I was like, how no, no, can no, that no, be no, the no. last? No. That's okay. We'll go back to the gummies. They're resealing. I know. <laughs> I was like, I think I want another one of those gummies from the uh, the the, the grapefruit gummies. Uh, so cool what's one. next? This one is Pure Smile. It has a geisha on the front. Oh, of it. Pure Smile Japanese facial mask. Oh, okay. Don't make the <laughs> obvious joke. Oh! oh my gosh! How cute is this, you guys? <laughs> it's a geisha mask. Oh my gosh! I mean, it's, honest to God. You know what? I have two words. Not it. Not, yeah. Nose goes. I will take the the bite. It's adorable. It's so cute. Look at that. I don't know, that looks kind of yeah, it it creepy. I'm pretty sure once you put it on, it's going to be very distorted. Okay, I don't mind cute. these. I love masks, obviously, I'm a girl. My mom bought me some charcoal masks um, for Christmas, People. and they're, they're um, paper, but they've got charcoal in them. <laughs> When I put it on my face, I came out and showed him. I said, I'm pretty sure this is racist. I, I came out in blackface, basically. Mm -hmm. I just had my white eyes and my white mouth showing, and it was just all black. And I was like, that's... Yeah. Well, the thing is, because of, like, the like the makeup design on this one, I feel like this is going to be very creepy to look at. This is going to be, like, the type of thing that you rob a convenience store with. Yeah. What well, happened even... here? Uh, some crazy geisha <laughs> came in. And... <laughs> Even the pictures in the back, we'll, we'll probably cut in a picture here. You have Tom? You hear that, Tom? Did you, did you hear that? Just, just <laughs> take a picture of this. Even the picture on the back, it looks disturbing. Just the fact that it's like uh, <clears throat> putting, oh, what's his name? Buffalo Bill? Put yeah. it on. Yeah. It puts the lotion on <laughs> his skin. <laughs> it puts the geisha mask on. <laughs> Alrighty. Next, the box is we have close. something that I think Cameo sent just for me. If the geisha mask wasn't just for me anyway. Yeah. It's a luggage oh, tag! A it's a BB-8 luggage, luggage tag! Because he knows I love BB-8s! 
Nice. And that is actually really good quality. I mean, look at that. I mean, there's some detail in that thing. That thing it's is huge, really too. It's really squishy. And it has depth to it as well, yeah, which is cool. Yeah, like, it's very 3D. I love this. this Especially is this part. Suitcase. Yes, that's my <laughs> favorite part. You thought I was going to do a middle finger. Oh! No. <laughs> it's BB-8. Let me take that out so it's not... There's no glares on it for you guys. He's doing the creepy stare. You're doing the creepy thing again? Yeah, it's my favorite thing. I don't know. I like to stare at you guys. It's it's all the candy. The sugar's going to his head. <laughs> don't be creepy, Painter. All right. Next, we have a wooden postcard. These are kind of neat. And it says here that it glows in the dark. Oh. A Taiwan wooden postcard. It's got a little hangy row. And then on the back, it's just so you, you know, have the place to write your postcard for your address and then put your stamp on it. So does anybody know, would they actually deliver that? Oh, of course they would. They would. would they, they? Yeah. I have bought wooden postcards in the United States and have mailed them. They don't usually arrive in one piece, though. Oh, that's a shame. Especially with the pieces that are yeah, like, they don't, coming off of the wood. At least the mail back when I was nine years old did not take care. Oh, I bought it shame. in Arizona um, and sent it home to my grandparents. And they got all the pieces. The post office put it all in a bag and gave my grandpa the pieces and he glued it back together. But yeah. yeah Bonus cause... points if you wrote on the back of it. I hope this makes it. I did piece. not. <laughs> I did not think of it. Either. And it's got glitter all over it too. It's yeah, because like you can send a, a whole coconut. Uh, you can send mm -hmm. a banana through the mail. You can send a bottle. Right. Yeah. Like as long as it has an address, a postage stamp, and uh, isn't going to break if they drop it. Break. Break. Could yeah. could you send a coconut via a swallow? It could grip it by the husk. I mean, it depends on how fast it got there, really. There's some really cute stuff on here. There's like very much, I'm guessing, is very iconic to Taiwan. There's a little wolf eating um, meat. There's a, a bear with a uh, like a, a corn dog and a milkshake. There's some killer whales. There, what's he eating up? Pocket there. Like a, a pasty. <laughs> pasty. No, pasties oh. are what you put on your no. person. A pasty a is pasty, what you eat. Yeah. I think that's what Stop he's eating. Stop saying a pasty. Oh, We're not pasty. eating. He <laughs> <laughs> looks like he's eating a hot pocket. I think this and it does porpoises. have some raised. Um, I don't think it's a killer whale. It. I think it's a porpoise. It looks like a killer whale. Technically, a killer whale is also in the porpoise family. Just so we get that clear before somebody comments below and is like, killer whales and porpoises hey, are in the same family. We have nice fans. We've <clears> not had anybody who's been mean to us in the comments. That's true. Thanks, nerdlings. Yeah, you, but our also, nerdlings are great. Killer whales have a, a white circle in that area there. A well, I've never eye. seen a black dolphin. It's a porpoise. Or porpoise. I've never seen a black one either. Well, we'll Google it later. <laughs> Googly goo. All okay, right. Google. Next. Now this, going off of the list, this box has got to be <clears> getting empty. It's getting close. We've got some Final Fantasy, maybe, characters. I bet these are the Peely character oh. stickers. I was wrong. So they look kind of cool, though. They are really cool. There's three and, and four. It must be collectible. Like, there's probably a series of, like, eight. You know what's funny is this redhead here kind of looks like Alloy. And this blonde here looks like Jordy from Star Trek. <laughs> <laughs> this one very much looks like a Final Fantasy character. Yeah. I think that's why I thought it was Final Fantasy when I pulled it out. I think it's a towel. So, this is Peely, Taiwanese glove puppetry multimedia company since 1985. It's probably off some camera now. Oh, yeah. Although... Traditional Chinese glove puppetry has been around since the early 17th century. Hand towel. Okay, so it is a hand towel. It I'm is. trying to figure out how it's a puppet glove. <laughs> it's like, where is a puppet glove? You, what you do is follow the rules by They Might Be Giants and put your hand inside the puppet's head. <laughs> I don't think that's how it works, guys. This is really neat that looking, is though. Cool. Although, I never would have... I mean, other than the uh, the feel of the fabric, I never would have pegged it as a hand towel. It kind of seems like it's a microfiber banner. towel. 
these yeah. are, but I'm saying, I use like, these this, for my hair so they don't, my hair doesn't get too But it looks more like something thing. that you would hang up in your room. Yeah. yeah. You don't want to put your grubby hands all over this On this thing. piece of art. They sleep on, like, girl, like, girlfriend pillows, so, and girlfriend sheets, so I think that, what are you doing with your mouth? I'm smelling it. We're with, smelling everything. With his mouth. <laughs> I, I was feeling the texture. <laughs> with your lips. Smelling with my tongue. Oh. So, overall, I would have to say my favorite thing would be the um, <laughs> the grapefruit gummies. My second favorite would probably be the Coca Cola gummies. My least favorite um, is a tie between the. Uh, the rock these candy. things and these things. I want to say this is worse, actually. I think it's this one. My favorite would probably be the lemon candies. I do like sour candies, but anything that's lemon flavored, I feel like there's <laughs> not enough of that out there. Or lime. Uh, lime, especially. If I mean, if I can get lime candy, but uh, I think that was my favorite. Probably my second favorite would have been the cola gummies, yeah. just because I mean. Cola gummies are awesome. They're delicious. Um, and the watermelon and kiwi, definitely my least favorite. I I feel like I could eat the uh, the raisin hazelnut rum chocolate over the Ooh, good. watermelon <laughs> weird things. Yeah, and I think my favorite would probably be the cola gummies, just because they are exactly what I wanted them to be. They were. And they were top notch, for sure. And the least favorite uh, is definitely that watermelon kiwi chocolate. That's <laughs> so gross. That didn't even taste like chocolate. I don't think that no. was chocolate. It was just like there was no hard... chocolate. There wasn't even white chocolate yeah. in there. It was gross. I can't. Hand can't. me the, go the cola gummies. So yeah, we're just gonna eat some good gummies here. <laughs> Make our life happy. Again. Now what we're going to do is just go through all of this candy as fast as we can and see who gets diabetes first. <laughs> no. <laughs> I already got type two. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh, um, I love that smell. Now I do want to say, Cameo, if you are actually watching our video, I really, really appreciate yeah, you thank picking you up so, much. This is so awesome. many different goodies. Uh there is definitely a lot of stuff here that I don't think I would have picked up on my own. Um a lot of it I probably would have passed over. I know I would have because it was melon. Lots of melon. <laughs> the melon stuff, but uh maybe the extra gum. I probably would have not picked that up because I would have looked at it and been like, ah, it's just extra. Who cares? But I was actually happy to try that because it was very different. <laughs> so this was, I'm, I'm very glad that he did this. This was a lot of fun. Uh, we need to find more foreign friends or not foreign friends, but more friends in foreign places um, to send us fun stuff. Because Ooh. this is a lot of, a lot of fun to go through. Yeah. It is a lot of fun. Any Canadian nerd links, if you want to send us some ketchup chips, milk in a bag, <laughs> oh, uh, that sounds gross. poutine, any of that. Oh, you can get poutine here in the States. Send us some poutine. <laughs> <Nice. laughs> now, I think that you're just choosing stuff you've already had. I've never had them, but I saw it on another, <laughs> another uh, YouTube channel. I lived up in so. Green Bay, Wisconsin. We had poutine. Ah, you can get poutine here in, Spring in Springfield, actually, at uh, a nice little barbecue place I know. You want to plug them? Oh yeah, sure. Why not? It's a uh, Lost Signal Barbecue, and or what do they do? Brewery, brewery and barbecue. They brew their own beer there, and they uh, have really good barbecue, and they have poutine, which is fantastic. <laughs> anyway, well, nerdlings, thank you for uh, watching all of this and uh, suffering through some of, some of the candies. <laughs> And uh, thank you so much again, Cameo, for sending this our way because it was a lot of yes. fun to check all of this out. So we can do a contest of people we don't enjoy and they can get these. Oh. <laughs> and thank you, Peter, yes. for oh, coming along yes. and helping yes. us try this stuff out. I, Thanks for I having me. I think your smeller's broken. My though. smeller's not broken. Because <laughs> this smelled like weird vegetables or something. Oh, know. that smells weird. <laughs> now, just so you know, guys, uh, every time... I use music by Peter. I make sure to put a link in the description below. With his confused so picture at the end. If, yeah, if you want to. <laughs> I love that picture. You just look so confused. <laughs> if you want to bug him about music, yeah. maybe, maybe he doesn't want you to bug no, him. No, go about ahead. Music. I think I'm pretty sure there's a contact me area on that, uh, that page. At the end of the page. If you go look at it. 
And of course, let us know if you like this video by giving it a like. Make sure you comment down below. Let us know if you've tried any of this stuff before and what you thought. Yeah. Uh, maybe you like the watermelon kiwi candies. And uh, <laughs> be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And hit that notification bell. Yeah. And follow us on Instagram and Facebook. And maybe I might listen to a certain other subscriber and get Twitter at some point. But we will, we will see. Yes, <laughs> who would that subscriber be? Uh, I don't. I don't know who you could be talking about. Whoever. Man, which, that's an awesome shirt. That guy could be. Thanks. I got this Batman shirt one time. It was cool. It looks like it's inside out. No, it's not. It's just super, super retro faded. and faded. I've had it for eight years. Honestly, I forgot he was wearing that shirt. I wasn't trying to do a plug or a shout out. I was just. <laughs> Uh, we'll see you next time, Nerdly. Bye, Nerdly. Bye, guys. Thumbnail picture. <laughs>